Ladies and gents, this improv story is based on an idea. Man is planning on booking a holiday. Let the story commence. There was this guy, the cat's tash says, I want ultra violence here, getting all the anger out, but we'll see. Not, not seen the three wee guys for a while. Um, man is planning on booking a holiday. It's a guy called Craig, and he was thinking, right, I know we can't go on holiday, there's talk that we can't go on holiday this year. Quarantine stuff, if you go on holiday, you've got to come back, quarantine for two fucking weeks. It's not going to happen, and where can you go anyway? They say it's going to take ages for this vaccine to work. Um, and even, it's not just like a certain percentage gets the vaccine and that's it, we can all go out. It's actually probably going to be this time next year until things are looking like back to normal. They might not even be back to normal, just sort of look at Right, so it's so like, I need to plan a holiday. I, I just need something to look forward to because I'm crumbling. It's fucking coming up, it's coming up for February and I'm I'm a crumbling. He said, I'm going to plan a holiday, I don't care. So he planned, he's pl he planned on booking a holiday. So he's not actually booking a holiday, he's planning on booking a holiday. And he's like, right, I would say maybe by this Christmas coming up, like practically a fucking year, it'll be so under control that I might be able to go to say Australia or New Zealand. Because it'll be summer there at that point. Get away for the cold. So that's my summer holiday there. So he started to plan it, right, so I'm going to go, and he's telling everybody, I'm going to Sydney. I'm going to Sydney. Sydney who? <laughs> Sydney the city, Australia. The capital city, Australia. And somebody said, there's not the capital. Aye, it is. No, it isn't. It's Canberra. Is it? And he looked it up. Canberra, see? Oh, right there. And he said, that's funny. I thought it was Sydney. Just then, three wee guys came out of nowhere and started pu punching fuck at a Craig. Punching fuck at him. This was just out in the street. This was, this was the, this was the very far from where he stayed. He was just talking to a neighbour about getting away from it all. They just came out and they were just fucking, and hang on, see, because the groom was icy, they had actually slid up to him and went whack. And then another one slid up and went whack. It was like curling. In fact, it was like that famous, let me show sketch. Let me, curling. But instead of punch, uh, pushing them, they punched them. And then another one did it, another one did it, and the neighbours are like, what are you doing? What are you doing? And the three wee guys, and this is how brazen they fucking got these days, because they're not scared of the jail, they want to go in the jail. Fucking PlayStation a lot. They went like that, it's a case of mistaken identity. So they actually knew it, they admitted it, they just came out, they just said it, it's a case of mistaken identity. And, but they still kept not and fuck at him. And, and Craig went like that. They were ready to walk away, but then Craig went like that. Gonna leave us alone. Which translates as, gonna leave me alone, leave us alone, leave, leave me alone, leave us, leave us alone, Lee, leave us alone, leave us alone, gonna leave us alone. And the wee guys were just walking away as well. They'd done their work, there's fucking blood all over the fucking ice. 
wee guy went by him and like, oh, why is the ice red? And them all went like that. Just move along. Just don't. Just let's go. Because people don't want to get involved these days. The wee guys were just walking away. Then he went like that. Gonna leave us alone. And then uh, probably uh, I would imagine the ringleader, because this is a true story I was looking at the window at the time. I imagine the ringleader turned around and walked towards Craig. Because I was watching all this. <laughs> I was watching all this as it happened. It was I was stunned. And I was saying to myself, I need to remember this for an improv story. Um, because remember, the improv stories are actually asking me to recall a story improvise what I remember if you know what I mean the idea the question of what story to recall was improvised if you know what I mean um, but this I think what what I saw for the windy was it's like one of the wee guys got I don't know he got pissed off with the stupidity of Craig because they had already fucking left him, uh, le 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 left him alone, left him, lead, well, already left him alone, lead him, lead him alone, led, led him alone, left him al alone. So when Craig went like, Gonny Lee is alone, it just fucking irritated one of these wee guys. Must have been like, the wee guy, one of the three wee guys must have been like me, but a kind of pedant. Do you mean geez, gonna, geez, gonna Lee is alone? We're fucking walking away. So, the ringleader came back and grabbed him and went like that. Right, come on, grab him. Johnny, you take one arm. Steg, you take the other arm and I'll stall on his back. So you had one... like So so Craig was face down on the ice, on the pavement, all slidey as fuck, and the two at the side were, were dragging it like huskies. And the main wee guy, whatever, I don't know, I didn't get his name. He was stoning on uh, Craig's back, like that. Like he was surfing, and he went like that. Da, 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 da. And I was like, what's that tune again? What are we guys that are probably about 14 here in 2021 doing the tune to Hawaii 5.0 that I didn't even watch? And I'm 46. Was it even about surfing? But they dragged Craig down the road like that, with the ringleader on the, the back like that. And any time he felt that his two wee pals had gone too fast, he slowed Craig down by gently pressing down on the back of his head with his foot. You know, like the, you know what you do with the um, the scooters. You know, with scooters, there's a wee bit of plastic at the back and, or metal, and you press down on it with your foot, and that rubs against the back wheel. Well, he did that only way Craig's nose pressed down on the back of Craig's head. Craig's face in the ground. Craig's belly down. Um, and it worked. The other two wee guys are like, what are you doing? You're slowing, you're slowing yourself down. He says, I'm trying to slow down. You're going too fast. And the two wee guys were like that. Ah, you're a shite bag. And this ringleader, I could tell that you've got to, you've got to fucking keep that in line, that sort of part. Because the thing with we guys is they're like hyenas or wolves. They're always vying for the top spot. So you always get one going like, ah, you're, you're not the alpha. I, I should be the alpha. You're, you don't want to go fast. So this ringleader went like, go then. Go fast as fuck then. So they just kind of, they went away and I thought that was the last I would see them. But about an, an hour later to the, to the second, I heard them come back. Right, Mum, we just parked come here where we found them. I was like, what's that? And I looked at the window. And there they'd stopped. And the two guys, two wee guys that were pulling, was it John and Steg? They looked knackered. Faces were fucking bright red. You could see steam coming off their heads because uh, it's freezing and I was like they've not been surfing or sledging on Craig's face this whole time have they and I ran out 
I'd ran out and I went like, get, get going, go on. To the wee guys, because see if you just shout like that, they run. They run, they don't even think about it. It's like lions. See if you run up to a lion and go like, get. A lion will actually run away from you. So they ran away on different directions. They just, they just, the instincts just kicked in. I went like, ho, ho you. And I looked in. And Craig was face down, so I wasn't looking at his face yet. And I was ready to pull him out, but then a wee, a wee Wayne came out. It was a wee lassie. It was a wee Sally. Sally's uh, uh, Craig's daughter that I didn't mention. And she went out, she came out and she went, Papa? Papa, are you okay, Papa? I went, don't look, sweetheart. Your daddy's been attacked. Don't look. And she, she went away back into the house. So then I pulled a mare. And then I heard a scream. And I turned around and she'd crept up. She'd crept up. She was just kidding on. She hadn't really went back in her. She just kidding. She, she's curious. You know what Wayne's are like? Curious. Like cats. You say to Wayne, see that room there? Room 237. You stay out. You hear me? Stay out. That's the room they want to go into. I said to Sally, don't look. Fucking, I suddenly, I suddenly made it the most interesting thing to look at in the world. When I turned Craig air, she screamed. And I looked at Craig's face to see what she was screaming at. I didn't, I didn't actually look. I didn't actually want to look. I thought, it must be bad if she's screaming. And I said to, me, I said to Sally, what was it you saw? Because I don't want to see it. It will really disturb me. What did you see? And she said, my dad's face wasn't there. I went, right, I think I can imagine that. Thank you very much for your help, okay? I'll see you later. Um, And that was that. I, I just moved house. I didn't want to deal with it. I didn't want to tidy up. I don't. I didn't want to phone the police or anything. But here's the thing, Craig, uh, Craig survived, and he went on holiday. He went on holiday. He went on holiday to Australia, and they were going to say, "I'm sorry, you can't get in unless you do. Uh, you've got to do a coronavirus test, and you've got to wait for two weeks, and all the rest of it." Well, f if you're coming for the UK, which is like fucking Corona Island. Still, even in a year for now. And he said, somebody said for him, Sally, who was a year older, said, my dad can't get a test, he doesn't have a face. He has no mouth, no nose, no eyes, nothing. So he can't actually cough. Or anything. The man, it healed air. It managed to heal air. It looked like, what did his face look like? Um, it just, it looked kind of like this. It's like a thumb. But because of what they did, because they, they'd, they'd, it was pretty bad what happened to his face, there was actually one eye right in the middle. There was an eye right in the middle. If you imagine that, an eye right in the middle, where the, the tip of the nose would be. One eye. One eye. And it never blinked. You had to get somebody to uh, spit in it every now and again. He had to get every, every now and again, he had to get something like that <laughs> to moisturise it. Uh, so he got in, he got his holiday and he got sunburnt. 
because it was Sydney. He went to Bondi Beach on Christmas Day. He got sunburnt. And because of what they'd done to his face, his skin didn't have the proper defences. You know, he, um, to kind of, you know, the, the, the burnt skin and all that, you know, it kind of grow it out, you know, for it to die out. It just, it was pretty fucking bad. So, he's wee lassie who, she's pretty clued up at this point, a whole year, she had to uh, deal with things, phone calls and all that. She grew up pretty quickly, having to deal with the phone calls and all that. She should have just been away and enjoying her childhood and having a laugh, but she had to make phone calls and sort all this fucking shit out with the hospital. Um, uh, she did the decent thing. People were screaming down at the beach because there was a shark attack. Very rare. And, uh, and, and because her dad didn't have any ears, she gave him a wee nudge in that direction. And he got eaten by a shark. Everything got eaten except the heat. The shark didn't even want the heat. That's how bad it was. And the heat washed up on the shore later. And some three wee Australian guys thought it was a jellyfish. And the thing is, see, because it was in salty water, it actually preserved the, the brain. So Craig was still alive and still conscious. And these three wee guys thought it was a jellyfish and they started throwing stones in it, dropping big fucking, big stones in the jellyfish, what they thought was a jellyfish. It's just because he was all bloated. The skin was a bit see-through. They dropped it right in the eye. They thought the eye was the heart. Um pretty bad so so that that was it that was it and uh, when Sally got to the airport to go back they went uh, we have here on record you're, you're supposed to be with um, a parent Craig is it and she went listen I can hold on myself But I've fucking been through it. I can honour myself. And they went like that. And she got on the flight and she went back home. And she said to her mom, that's me back. And her mom went, how would you, back for well? What? What's going on? She woke up, what? Ooh, she slept through the whole thing. The end. The mod slept through the whole thing and I saw this whole thing. It's a true story that I saw the whole thing through the window. I saw the whole thing through the window. No bullshit at all. Even Australia, but because of coronavirus, it's doing something to the atmosphere. So you can use a telescope and it actually bends the light. You can actually bounce off the atmosphere and see all the way around, like fibre optic. Kind of bounces all the way around. Reese and Honey Perry, thanks for the sub. Poor Craig, he said such an interesting life though, aye, but that's him gone now. That's him. Until next time.